we were asking ourselves what has changed since this pandemic and all previous epidemic that uh, epidemics that humanity has faced um, and many things have not changed uh, our ability to uh, prevent and uh, reduce the contagion chain of respiratory disease uh, has not improved that much. Um, our antiviral drugs have not improved significantly either, uh, but we have a brand new tool, uh, and that is digital data and algorithms. Uh, we live today in 2020 in a significantly more interconnected and digitalized world uh, compared uh, even to the world of uh, 2003. Um, that, that was uh, in the paper we, we mentioned that the amount of data produced by mankind since its uh, origins until 2003 is now produced only within a few minutes. Um, so we think that we have a moral obligation towards leveraging the potential and mobilizing the potential of digital technology of data and artificial intelligence for the social good and try to um, uh, use them for monitoring, containment, uh, and other uh, per public health purposes in uh, in the fight of uh, against COVID-19. But at the same time, uh, we have to be extremely mindful that precisely because these technologies have such great potential, we have to use them properly. Um, and we need to define what are the criteria or requirements for responsible use of data and algorithms, because if we fail to do so, we might um, have a quite counterproductive effects, uh, including uh, fueling public distrust. If there is, for example, secrecy in data agreements, uh, people might lose trust in governments and public health authorities. Uh, if we introduce errors in our computational models, this can lead to outsized effects. Um, and also, if we violate privacy rights, uh, then we might lose not only um, our safety at some point, but also our civil liberties and our fundamental rights. Um, so this is pretty much uh, the, the background story of, of this article. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog, the URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link, which is found in the description of this video.